Yo, so what's going on you little test tube babies? My name is Pwnstar, and I'm playing a little bit more Black Ops 2, but that's not why we're here, because I'm playing this game, I'm gonna go off and kill like 18 people, because this game makes me, makes me that bad, you know? None of you took that serious, did you? Of course not, because that shit doesn't happen. I need to talk to you guys about something, so sit down, sit down, sit down. Listen to me real quick. I'm tired, I'm tired, I've been seeing this on the news, hearing it on the radio, all these people pointing fingers and blaming video games, video juegos, blaming video games for the reason why that cute little kid down the street killed that whole family, or why these so-and-so goes on a shooting rampage in a school. All these people are pointing fingers, not at, you know, needing to have gun control or something here in the States, but... So many people over, over the over the years, you know, oh, oh, oh the Marilyn Manson's music made me do this. Um, you know, I, I fucking killed that puppy because I failed my, you know, SATs. You know, you know what I mean? It's like, like, what's going on? You know, people get mad and they have to point their fingers at something because they're not willing to accept their possibility that the fault and flaw is with them. That is all that is. When you don't have an answer, when you don't have something that is logical or understandable enough for you to, I guess, grasp hold of, to be like, oh, well, that's probably why he did it. Or or unwilling to accept why he really did it, they're just going to point fingers at some bullshit that was just a part of his life. And that's why video game takes the fall. Why video games like Call of Duty take the fall. They're like, oh, my God, he plays games all day long. And you know, I'm like, yeah, did you see that fucking swarmy guy yesterday, bro? What the fuck? Executioner, he was a beast. He probably took that into real life, right? You know, no, no one has ever done that. All these people, all these politicians, all these moms, all these people, they just want answers, they want closure, they want to know that people aren't really people. People ourselves are flawed. The, the, the problems are not with video games. So, if you have a mom that believes that violence teaches children to be violent, you know, uh, not violence, but video games teaches children to be violent, then have her listen to this video. Um, from my experiences, video games are more of a tool for help and an asset than they are for complications or violence. Never ever have I seen anyone play video games. I've gotten mad and I've, put, I've punched a hole in the wall of video games. I'm not going to lie. I've gotten anger, but that's temporary. I've never plotted out a massive assassination, put on my fucking bulletproof vest and gone in there and killed people. No, that would never happen. I know, it just doesn't happen. How can playing video games be any worse than reading a, a, a really deep graphic novel or a crazy book about, you know, killing or something like that? How's it any worse than watching the show Dexter? People aim the finger at something because they need to have something to blame and they're not willing to accept the responsibility. I'll tell you the fault. It's one of two things. It's always one of two things and this is my opinion and you can leave yours down below. But it pisses me off when all these parents, all these politicians, all these people that do not know what video games are, have never even picked up a controller, know nothing about it, like to point the finger and blame it something. You know what? Oh yeah, blame, blame that massive turd I had earlier today on video games. I don't know what video game it may have come from, but that turd was extremely epic and massive. And I just felt like mentioning that to you guys. It had nothing to do with the topic today, but that turd was impressive. But anyways, like... I was so upset, dude. I keep listening to all these people talk about video games like it's the worst thing ever. Like, oh, let's, like, make a fucking riot and try to ban video games. It's never going to happen. Video games do not contribute to violence, in my in my honest opinion. You know? Think about it this way. Like, you know, there are so many sources out there. You know, the two things that I think that, I, I guess, contribute to any sort of violence like that, and this may just be something in the United States, I know a lot of other countries are a little bit more clean and a little bit more, I guess, stable when it comes down to gun control and violence or abuse or anything like that. But to be completely honest, the, the two things that it usually comes down to is some sort of mental lapse or illness. You know, when somebody has the shittiest day of their life, they find that their dog ate their freaking favorite shoes and walked into seeing their wife sleep with some mailman while finding his shoes being chewed on, you know, when everything in his life comes crumbling down in one day, that's usually when a dude snaps. That's usually when a dude snaps, but that's also the time, that's also the moment where I go play in Call of Duty. You know why I go play Battlefield or whatever? Because it relieves stress. Not because I'm shooting people, but because when you're in the game, you forget about all the hardships, all the struggles, all the trials of real life. You're playing video games, and you don't remember that shit. I'm sitting here right now, I'm thinking about where the enemy's going to be next. I'm not going to you know, worry about midterms, 
or why my girlfriend left me or the bills that I'm not going to make. All I'm going to worry about is just having fun, hanging out, kicking it with the lobby. I don't take away, oh man, dude, yo, I, I got that new MP7 unlocked, dude. I know how to, uh, you know, I know how to quick reload now. I know how to rack it. I even know how to shoot it. Video games taught me how to shoot and kill people. You know, it's one of the biggest peeves ever is when people always try to blame some sort of, you know, celebrity or some sort of video games. There's so many people, so many moms that are uneducated and have no experience. Video games helped me through so many problems in my life. Shooters in particular. I had a very, very rough home life. Video games were basically my outlet, what I used to relieve stress, what I did to cool down. I popped in the video game, played a couple hours, got out of it, and, and then all of a sudden I'm like, you could do this, phone. You could do this, man. You know, just get through it. So video games are more of a help than anything. There's, and there's people that don't have rough home lives. I mean, I know there's just people that hate their life, hate school, hate their moms. Their moms are, you know, drugging up, whatever. And to escape that tragedy, to escape the problems of life, they use video games. Some people read. Some people jerk off. There are so many things that people do. But video games are one of the most common releases. And, you know, again, they could be hazardous. They could be addictive. But they don't lead to violence, man. There's nothing in a video game. That's not a real-life simulator. There's no, you know way to teach a kid how to go into school and kill people. There's no game like that. That would never work. So when, when people point the finger at this, the main responsibility is if it's not a mental health illness, if it's not a problem like that, it's parenting. That's what it's always going to go back to. It's what it's always going to be. Lack of interest in your children, some sort of bad home life. I almost always blame the parents because that's who's responsible for raising their child. I mean, you could be too rough with your kid and he rebels, but odds are he's not going to rebel and kill people. Or you can not care about him. You can not pay attention. You can not be there for him. And when he grows up and he finds the wrong things and he dives into it, it's a coin toss. You know, that's the kind of stuff that happens. That's why people get into drugs. That's why people do this and that. It's because of violence, abuse, neglect. All these things are blamed on the parents. And there ain't damn thing you could do about fixing people. So, to be honest, you people just need to calm your shit down. Calm your tits. Calm it down. Relax. Go play some Call of Duty. My tip to you is is try something out before you bash it. You know all these. You know in most situations, as long as it's not harmful to you. You know all these people are like, oh my god. You know drugs did this and that. I've lost family to drugs, violence. You know rape, fucking murder. I've dealt with this stuff, right? I know what it's like. At no point was I ever like, oh man, that's because of Call of Duty. No, it's because of the person that did it, and I felt bad for the person that did it because he was obviously pushed through a lane. That was so hard in his life that his last resort was, I just want to end it. That's what he thought was necessary. And I may not approve of it, but that's what happens. So all these people that are trying to get mad at these kids to do something wrong in school or abusive or mean it at school or people that go on a killing spree and they find out that Call of Duty was in their video game library, they flip the fuck out. You guys just need to relax. These politicians need to sit on a cactus or something because there's just no common sense in the world today. Like, like seriously... They have to have something to blame instead of accepting that there's fault with people or you know their organization or whatever. They just want to have something to aim at and target at because it'll make them feel better. It's a defense thing. So that's my talk. Let me know what you guys think, guys. I'd really appreciate you guys to drop a like on the video. Support this one. Peace out, guys. Get it.